All right, so this video is to hopefully help anybody else out who's having the same problem with um, this TCM. This is for the MD3060 Allison transmission, six speed. Um, when we bought this, this is a 1995 Coachman and we were getting the dead push pad. It wasn't lighting up at all. Wasn't able to start the engine. Um, reading online, I heard of people having success heating them to get it to illuminate and get the engine started. And that's what I did when I went and bought this. I brought a hair dryer and heated up uh, the computer and the push pad lit up. I was able to start the engine and as long as I kept heat on it, I was able to drive it too. So in here there's a inverter, so I plugged the hair dryer into the inverter and was able to drive this. And once we got home, I pulled this all out. Um, it was mounted like up here, but it was hard to access the wires and everything. So just pulled this out of the way, pulled the computer out from under here. Then I was kind of able to narrow down more where the problem was with the blow dryer, just going over and turning the key on and off. And um, it was coming from this area here. Uh, when I first saw it, you could see that it was like burnt around here, like discolored. Uh, this was folded on top, but both sides were kind of, you could see it was discolored. So with the hair dryer, narrowed it down, figured out that it was, uh, that area was the problem. Once we open it up, there's a couple components in here. Um, I believe these are capacitors as well, these little small square ones. And this capacitor, and we got a soldering iron and just put it on these capacitors, heated them up one at a time, uh, and we found that uh, the problem was this capacitor right here. Every time we'd heat this up, it would start, took the heat away, it would shut off. So this capacitor isn't the original one. Uh, what it originally looked like was this one right here. And I'm not good with these components and stuff. Uh, my dad was able to figure out which one we needed, but if you can see that, it says N3P 4.7. 25V on the top and from what I understand the, the second um, number there 4.7 that's 4.7 microfarads and then 25V is 25 volts so this one was a little different it was one microfarad 50 volt and we didn't have that capacitor I wasn't even sure where to get these replacement caps but we had this one it was it was in a computer around the house we pulled it out and it wasn't even the right one it was like three microfarad and 25 volt but uh we put it in it has negative and positive side just made sure to solder it back in the way it came out and uh, as soon as we did that plugged it back in and started right up push pad illuminated but then i had this secondary problem it was lighting up now, but I, we weren't able to put it in drive or reverse. We pushed drive and reverse, it, it wouldn't even beep. And um, I was getting a couple codes here. The whole process. 3500, I forget exactly what that was. 6932, I believe that was like a power issue with the TCM. I think that was from the capacitor we, we replaced. And 2312. I'm pretty sure that was an error, um, some problem communicating from the push pad to the main board here. So we got it lit up, now it went shift, and um, we weren't sure what was going on, we are just messing around with everything, and realized um, moving this around kind of changed the lighting a little on the push pad. This was like this. And uh, so we decided to check out this ribbon here because we're kind of moving this all over. We pulled this ribbon connector out and uh, ohm tested each wire in here. There's like two layers. There's one on top and one on the bottom. It's like two ribbons close, right on top of each other. 
we ohm tested it and three of these wires inside uh, were open so there was a break in there somewhere and I I couldn't see it anywhere but we weren't getting power through three of these lines here and I followed the tracings and one of them went to the drive button and the other one went to reverse and the third one I forget where that went I think it went up to like the LED screen so what we did was we got some thin wire here three wires and we soldered it um, to the contacts on the main board here ran the wires across to the push pad circuit board and soldered them to the contacts here so just kind of bypassed the three wires that were broken in this ribbon came back out plugged it in uh, started right up and then it shifted fine we were able to drive it around the block everything worked great so that was a big relief and um, yeah, it's been working fine since so I just had to get this put back together carefully so I don't mess anything else up in the process so obviously this is not the right way to do it but uh, I've got it running for us again so hopefully uh, help somebody else out there with the same problem uh, if anybody else has any experience with this or um, any knowledge maybe where I can get the right capacitor to uh, leave a comment below but uh otherwise yep um, that's our experience with this and I guess that's about it